Welcome to the Bill Bert. Podcast. <laughs> Wait, you do the pod, I'll do the cast. <laughs> so you just say it again. Welcome to the Bill Bert Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> that has to be the intro. That's got to be the intro. What's going on? out to the desert uh the, i still call it the dessert because of uh greg Geraldo. i still say <laughs> when your balls are sticking on your leg out here in the in the dessert um we went to uh me and the family uh went out to uh joshua tree really so yeah i went out there and we had everybody got tested and shit we had i have some other family we came in whatever did the whole thing so uh i tried mushrooms for the first time because i was in the desert I was like, I gotta, I gotta do, I, you know, I gotta see what it's about. And somebody told me it would help my tinnitus, which is total bullshit. Um, <laughs> these fucking mushroom people, they think they understand the universe after they take it, dude, you fucking understand the vibrations, man. So it's just like, no, dude, you were tripping. Um, like you look at a lamp a whole different way. So anyway, I took it and, and my buddy told me, he goes, take four squares. So I said, all right, I'm taking six. I want to go on a ride. Jesus Christ, Bill. Well, fortunately, my wife told talked me out of it. She goes, take four. And I'm like, typical. Pull it back on the reins. <laughs> yeah, I wanted I wanted to be the lizard king. I'm like, if I'm gonna fucking do it, I want to do it. So I, I I ate the four squares immediately, really nauseous. It was in the form of chocolate, just really like and and the not the being nauseous lasted the whole time. And the other dude that I did him with was feeling the same thing. So, right. you know, at first it starts feeling like a pot cookie. Like, all right, I've been here before. And then it just kind of keeps going, like passes the pot house. Like, oh, shit, we're still going down the road. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, the TV starts looking like it's getting bigger. And then all of a sudden it kind of looks like maybe it's going to fall on me. But I'm just sort of enjoying it, going like, oh, I know that's not happening. That's bolted into the fucking wall, and that's a TV. TVs don't grow. You're able to keep it like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I started talking myself through it, and somebody else there was like, Jesus Christ, Bill, just go with it. It's like, well, I don't want to start freaking out. I got to <laughs> remind myself a toilet can't breathe. I'm sorry, right? <laughs> I got to remind myself a toilet can't breathe. <laughs> no, because I wanted to take a leak, and the toilet was going, was kind of doing this a little bit. Just a little bit. So then um, I got about two hours into it and I was just like, all right, cool. I need to go lay down. So I go lay down and, uh, and I felt this, uh, I told this on my, my podcast, I felt this profound sense of loneliness and not feeling loved in this depressive thing. So now I'm in my head going, what the fuck is this? And I'm looking at my wife going like, did I marry the wrong person, right? <laughs> and I'm like, no, no. And then, so then what I did was like, all right, let me think about something that I know I love and I know loves back, you know? Not like I don't know I love my wife, but yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Married any given day, it's like, you know, like you're the best thing that ever happened to me. Like next day, I'm fucking out of here, right? That's marriage, <laughs> right? So I go, let me think, <laughs> let me think about my kid. So I think about my kids and I still felt the same thing. And I'm going like, okay, so this isn't that. And I realized, cause I had gone, I, I'm going to therapy again. All of this shit that I was running from, this is the feeling I had growing up. And this stuff is like coming out of my pores now. It, so it wasn't a bad thing. So I just had to sort of sit in it and realize that that's what this is. And uh, I don't know, like the next day I was all clear. I was just like, wow, man, I really like, and I was still, I, I, through the rest of the trip, I was like, man, I just slept, walked through my thirties and forties, just trying to achieve shit because of the way I felt when I was a kid, the, what I did to fix that was to just start doing shit. And if I did all of these things and accomplished these things, then people would think I was cool. And then they'd stop fucking with me. That was my little kid way of getting out of this shit. And now I'm in my fifties and that shit doesn't go away till you deal with it. So I'm finally stopping 
and like sitting with it. So it ended up being like this great thing um, for me to kind of like deal with, to kind of have that goodwill hunting, it's not your fault yeah. <laughs> fucking moment. So it was weird because all, all my friends that, that I told I was going to take them were all excited because they thought like, I, you know, I was hoping I'd be like, dude, I felt love. I felt oneness with the fucking universe. I wanted to hug a cactus. It wasn't that. It was just sort of like, like this fucking empty thing. But I was able to f- like figure it out. Thank God I had kids. Well, yeah. If I didn't have kids, I'd be fucking th- <laughs> and at my wife sideways and ruining God. that. So that that was that was my trip. That's you're such an interesting person because you don't look like you don't act seem like the type of person that would go. Oh, I'm gonna do some mushrooms. Dude, I tried him the first time when I'm 52. So I, I am not that person. You were were you nervous? No, dude. I I like. I I can like. I flip out over little shit. I don't get nervous on big shit. I just I'm able to just block it out and do the job. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it like really helps me for when I'm really nervous, like for like really big gigs, like back in the day, like the first time, you you know, when you were doing like, uh, you're doing five minutes on a talk show and it becomes like super like surreal. And you're yeah. hearing the band playing and you're like, what the fuck am I, like, this is happening? He's gonna introduce the comedian and it's gonna be me. It's like, you have to like fucking just block all of that out and be like, all right, there's 400 fucking jerk offs here. They look like me. They talk, I can, they speak in my language. I can make them laugh. Why are they jerk offs? I don't know. See, I, I call them jerk offs because I'm nervous. So I'm yeah. lashing out at them. And I had this weird thing where I had to work up like a healthy level of hatred on some level if i didn't feel comfortable i i, I would go like you know fuck the fucking host I, i'd have to literally I'd, have, I'd had to go there because that was just me being nervous so, so i wasn't like fuck the host thank god for the host thank god he has the tv show i got something to do tonight so it helps me to like um like just sort of like dial in but i i'm really bad with like little shit i mean it has to come out somewhere so it's like little things so like if i'm gonna do something like it's really scary i don't want to do it i'm nervous about what's going to happen and everything but then once i do it like i'm one of those people if i'm going in a pool i just jump in yeah the deep end i don't walk down the stairs I, 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 oh, g- 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 e. my wife doing that drives me up the fucking wall it's like well you just get in it would have been over like fucking a minute ago <laughs> This is how I do it. <laughs> That's my wife. Oh my god! It's like, why would you prolong that? Um. So yeah, it helps me with like flying and shit like that. Like the other day, I soloed out into a place where I hadn't been before, and it was way more gnarly than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, there was like there was like three things all happening at fucking once, and then. I got clearance and I was crossing the center line. I was like, what in the fuck is it? And I was just like, all right, just look down your GPS. You can see the traffic. There's nobody there. There's a Charlie airspace coming up. It's from 2,700 or whatever. You're at 2,500. Just stay it here. You don't have to fucking talk to them. Just go north of this. And then I got north of that. And I see there's all these fucking jerk offs like me getting north of it because they don't want to talk to the fucking tower. So then I just make the decision. These fucking assholes aren't even talking on the radio. I don't want to be near them. So I ended up asking for clearance, got back into the Charlie. So now I'm talking to him. So I got fucking two eyes, my eyes and his eyes, watching what these jerk offs are doing. And I was all able to do that calmly. Now, you tell me to download Google Chrome and I will almost take my laptop and throw it out the fucking window. (laughs) And I don't know why I'm like that. But that is the way, that is the way I am wired. And, and, but, and the problem with that is most of life, 95% of life is downloading Google Chrome shit like at that level. So I'm, I've spent so much of my life losing my shit over, over like, you know, any, anything like nothing. Like, I mean, like the stupidest shit, like people who not don't understand that a garbage disposal you're supposed to scrape off as much food as possible. 
and then put it in. It's not designed to take all of that fucking food and people just, bang, bang, you know, got a fucking <laughs> chicken bone going down there. <laughs> my daughters, my daughters just empty all their food into the sink. I go, no, 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 no. You throw that in the trash, then whatever else the garbage is. <laughs> this garbage Dude, there's, there's so much little in, like information about garbage disposals. It was like when I was like 30 <laughs> years old, somebody finally told me how to hit the ketchup bottle. That you hit it on the Heinz 57. Everybody's always going like from the back. Yeah. And then all of a sudden somebody just says, no, you just hit it on the 57. And the shit came right out. I was just like, <laughs> I think the kids call those life hacks or whatever. Oh, like, I love a good disposal. life hack. People will stick food like this big. And they just send it down there. It's like, dude, like, you understand this is the pipes. <laughs> the sewer, everything goes into this shit. You want as little of that stuff going down there as possible. By the way, dude, the, the fucking sewer pipe, the fucking drain pipe to the street, I got to get that fixed. Fucking, I, I just got a couple of gigs coming up. I can't announce them yet. And I'm like, finally, finally. Because, you know, other than podcasting, you know, we've all been in like a financial freefall yeah. here. Fortunately, I'm not a fur coat guy. I don't have a grill. I didn't do any of that dumb shit. So I got, you know. I'm all right. And these guys fucking came up and it's just like, yeah, man, we got to, we got to do the whole thing. And I was just like, all right, just fucking do it. And then it's just like, yeah, this section's fucked up too. And ended up just going all the way around the house and the number just kept going. Dush, oh dush, my God. Does, does. And I literally go, can you just cap it at this number? And he goes, okay. And he came two grand less. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, is that how it works? I should have said less than that. <laughs> so wait, but, are you doing indoor gigs? Um, I'm going to do a virtual gig. Really? I, I, I did one. I did, um, I did a benefit for somebody, this high school kid in Massachusetts, uh, got hurt really bad playing hockey. And, um, you know, it's just something, you know, you got, you know, a comedian, you can just help somebody out. Why not go fucking do it? So, yeah. You know, I did that. And then through doing that, it's just like, oh, I could do like a gig or something or a gig or two doing this just because, um, you know, I, I just miss it. And I also need to, I, you know, I, and, you know I'm, not, I'm, I'm not Bill Gates here, man. I need to I need to make some fucking money here. Yeah, I feel I feel like I'm not going to be getting back on stage for at least five months. And I, like I won't be able to get on stage for five months. And I'm fucking kind of I, I kind of feel like I have no point in life i'm just like I'm like why weren't you getting on stage for that long ah uh, long story i'll tell you about it later okay but uh but i'm really i feel very you know i felt very guilty going out and doing those summer shows because i was like i don't know am i like i don't i, I am i doing the right thing you know and I, I know they're not the ideal climate but i'm so glad i did them now because i'm like oh i would have not gotten on stage for it for fucking two years no, but they're safe stay in the car wear the fucking mask yeah. whatever it is you can do it safely like what that guy do, is doing in texas i don't have a problem with him opening up the whole fucking state my only problem is just like just have people wear masks when they're when they're inside i, I mean yeah. it's a big enough state i guess people can kind of walk around each other you know i don't know but like yeah. you, you know i don't think doing like a show if if they're trying you know they're taking people's temperature at some point you know People have to get out of the house. They have to fucking, um, they have to earn a living. Yeah. And dude, I've just seen so many of my favorite goddamn places are just going under. But the upside that I, I do know of that is is I feel like that, you know, I don't think, I'm actually really liking this new generation of young people. You know, I, yeah. I, did, I did like three shows on Friday. Yeah, they're cool. I kind of feel like the millennials took the hit on this whole new overly sensitive pretending to care time like so much of it is just pretending to care and grandstanding and shit they kind of took the hit on that like the way when we were talking to george lopez how his generation figured out that doing blow was not good for your career <laughs> so, yeah fortunately for them we knew not to do that i feel like millennials took that hit for this next generation they're a little more relaxed and I think every generation in front of them kind of let them know like what the happy drugs were and what the ones that made you up on a billboard with like fucking wooden teeth look like, you know, <laughs> not saying people won't still fuck up, but like, uh, 
you know, some of the music, like I, I've been following some people on Instagram, where it's just more, not even like lyrics, it's just more vibe music. Yeah. And I'm like, where I'm in a part of my life where I'm trying to calm down, you know, with kids and shit. And it's just like, I, I like this. So, oh, I forgot to tell the end of the mushroom story. So I fucking, I, I just was so clear the next day. And I was just like, you know what? I need to like take care of myself more. I need to stop. Like I need to get eight hours sleep. I need to stop fucking smoking cigars all the time. So I was just like, you know what I'm going to do in March? I go, fuck this. Like me, I'm like all or nothing. I jump in the pool. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going plant-based. I'm going to see what this plant-based thing is. I'm going plant. Dude, I'm going to tell you right now, before anybody gets me all fuck, there's no fucking way that I'm not going to keep eating steaks. Okay. I like, you know, (laughs) I like I like fucking steaks too much, um, which, by the way, I saw a bear m- maul a cow the other day on YouTube. And I usually feel so bad for whatever's getting killed by a fucking bear because they just maul him to death. But he, I, the cow just it makes the funniest fucking noise the whole time. <laughs> he just sounded like he was a passenger in a car with the bear and the bear kept missing the exit like nah. <laughs> doing that right i know that's heartless but i also eat burgers so anyway so for the last like eight days other than like you know after i go to therapy i i I, there's a sandwich place i go to and and i and i get i get like you know a sandwich with, with like salami or something like that and then uh and then saturday night we, you know, they opened up the restaurant. So he was sitting outside under a heat lamp and I got like a chicken palm. But I got to tell you, ate that chicken palm after eating all like the plant-based, the whole fucking wheat, dude. I mean, I felt like I ate a fucking anchor. You for know? real? I, well, I mean, it's Italian. So they give you like enough for three people, which is why I love Italians. But like, it was, I, I should have stopped. I, so I was sitting there going like, is that the meat or is it because I ate? So I think it was a little bit of both. But um I've been making like these fucking protein bowls or they call them Buddha bowls before that gets canceled. Um, <laughs> and dude, I'm barely working off. It's just falling off me. For real? Yeah. Like That's I weighed crazy. myself today. Like I, I lost like six pounds. Holy shit. But I think you do in the beginning, you lose a lot because your body's like, oh my God, he's finally stopped eating ice cream. Oh, this is great. <laughs> and then it kind of settles in. So... I really believe in having that one big fucked up meal every week. You ever see like The Rock? Oh, but, those but, Sunday like, what the, cheat meals? Yeah, his Sunday night cheat. See, a lot of people fuck up as they have a cheat day. It's it's a cheat meal. So he'll have like a whole fucking pizza or like, dude, he was making these waffles that were like, you know, as big as his fucking arms. man. <laughs> things were fucking huge. And like, I think that that's like, uh, that that's kind of been working for me oh dude i walked by i walked by a um a couple eating uh chicken and waffles in san diego i took the girls to san diego this weekend Uh and i had a mask on and i had sunglasses on so the woman couldn't see that i was looking longingly at their food she but i definitely i definitely like looked and then i just kept staring but I'm, I'm in a fucking complete mask. And she got pissed. She was like, excuse you. And I was like, in my head, I was like, oh, you can't see that I'm just looking at your meal. Like, if I had all this shit off, you'd be like. No, oh, yeah, she might have been saying that, too. Oh, fuck. Because there's, there's certain people, they don't want you to staring at their food. It was food. so fucking good. It looked so good. Yeah. It was a, by, by the way, I'll tell you, I don't, the name of the restaurant, I don't know the name, but it was right across the street from the Hotel Del Mar. And it, the fucking chicken and waffles at this place were, I'm talking like double take. I haven't seen tits that have gotten me to stare this long. Like it was overwhelming. You know, I know a great place for that in, uh, I I don't, I have it in my phone somewhere in uh, Durham, North Carolina was one of the best soul food places I ever went to. And now I'm just, I'm just hoping it's still there with all of this. God. Yeah. This crap that's going on. Yeah. So that's the deal. So I'm going to try to go the month of March. Um, and then I, I just need, you know, my buddy, Jason Lawhead does. He's oh, kind of, I just watched him eat a fucking sandwich today on Instagram. 
Yeah. That looked like the greatest sandwich I'd ever seen in my entire fucking life. He's an unbelievable cook, but he, he does like vegetarian. He does plant-based thing. So I just need something to switch it up, dude, because I am like, this. it's like, what I should have done was gradually go into it because I didn't have all these meals, dude. I'm eating like a fucking prisoner of war. Like I got like fucking four meals. I've been eating them almost every day. And it's just like, if if I eat one more fucking sweet potato and cabbage with, with oh, I, I can't fucking do it. So I'm getting bored. And I'm like, well, when I eat meat, I don't get bored. It's like, no, when you're eating meat, you got the whole fucking, you know, you're eating chicken, but you're eating chicken like 9,000 different ways. You're eating steak 9,000 different ways or pork or whatever. But I kind of like um, the shape that you get in, you know, sleep a little Dude. better.